here's an interesting little curio. Here's two editions of the Pirate Seagull from Cockle Shell Bay. This is the original printing and this is a later reprinting, as we can see from the, the back. So the original one was printed in, where we see it, focus, broadcast, there we go, 1982, whereas this one's a later reprinting in 1985. Now, aside from the fact that this one's green and this one's obviously blue, and the, the fact that this was originally made for the St. Michael brand, which is a brand of Marks and Spencers, and this one's Thames Magnet, there's another difference here between them. You see? This one's got a barcode, and this one doesn't. So what's going on there? Well, the internet tells me that in the UK, barcodes for products began late 1979. So it's only a couple of years before this came out. So do we have a little snapshot here of like changing trends in like UK products and the market in general? So here, a book released only a couple of years after barcodes became a thing, not present. A couple of years later though, like presumably by this point, maybe it's become like a, a standardized thing. Like maybe like, I, I'm sure I could look into this and there might be an answer, but I'm thinking like by this point, it was practically law that your product had to have a barcode to be sold in the UK. And hence it's here, you know, with the same, the same book basically, only a couple of years later. It's interesting. I wonder if, I don't know, this is the only story that I have the two copies of like it seems that all if not well some if not all of these books have a green and a blue version so i think well, i think it'll be interesting to see if the rest of them are the same actually i wonder it'd be interesting if we came across one of the you know the latest one of these books and maybe it does have a barcode that'd be kind of interesting may this may have to have a follow-up if that's the case once i've acquired more a few more of these things